Good morning, viewers. Welcome to ST Money's Morning News, your weekday business news channel. It is Tuesday morning, September 10, 2024, and I'm your host, Sunil Thakkar of Sunny Talks Money. Let's roll. The stock market highlights from Monday, September 9, 2024. Indian markets rebounded from a three day slump driven by gains in consumer staples and banking shares. Indian indices ended Monday's trading session higher, even as markets in Asia were embroiled by weak sentiment emanating from the sell-off in the US stocks on Friday. However, futures in Europe and the US had climbed as investors looked forward to the Federal Reserve's meeting scheduled for next week. The index started the week on a negative note, with the Nifty below 24,850, but erased all the losses in the initial hours and witnessed range-bound trading in the first half of the session. However, final hour buying helped the NSE Nifty 50 index edge up 84 points or 0.34% to close at 24,936. While the BNC, BSC Sensex rose 375 points or 0.46% to 81,560. On the NSC, among Nifty 50 stocks, 26 stocks closed in the green, led by HUL, Sri Ram Finance, ICICI Bank, ITC, and Bhutani. While losses were led by ONGC, Tech Mahindra, BPCL, Tata Steel, and Hindalco. After a flat to negative start at 50,549, the Bank Nifty Index managed to touch a day's high of 51,193 during the day, but ended at 51,109, up 1%. However, the Nifty Mid-Cap 100 index fell 0.2%, while Nifty Small Cap Index declined nearly 1%. Meanwhile, across sectors, the FMCG index was the highest gainer, closing 2.04%, followed by bank and financial services indices, which closed 1.07% and 0.82% higher, respectively. The Consumer Durables Index also closed Rest of the sectoral industry indices closed in the red, with the oil and gas index down 1.37%, dragging the most, followed by IT and metal indices. The Indian Volatility Index, India VIX, closed down 6.44% to 14.24. In global news, US stocks rose more than 1% to start the week on the back of technical dip buying. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 484 points to 40,830. The S&P 500 gained 63 points to close at 5,471. And the Nasdaq Composite gained 1.16% to close at 16,885. Global benchmark Brent crude is 71.84 a barrel. Gold is at rupees 71,850. Now, for today's outlook for the Indian market. Technically, after a week open, market took the support near the 20-day SMA and reversed. Post-reversal, it held positive momentum throughout the day. A small bullish candle on daily charts and reversal formation on the intraday charts suggests the pullback formation is likely to continue in the near future. On the daily charts, it can be observed that the Nifty had tested and held on to the support zone of uh, 24,850 to 24,800, which coincided with the 20-day simple moving average and the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. Today's low, 24,750, shall be the stop loss for the long positions and a breach below it shall lead to a trend reversal from short-term perspective. The immediate hurdle on the upside is placed at 25,000 to 25,100. Stocks on radar today. Religair Enterprises, Bank of Baroda, Office Space Solutions, Phoenix Mills, LIC, Obera Realty and IRB Infrastructure will be in focus on Tuesday today. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow morning. In the meantime, let us know in the comments section what are your thoughts for today's market. Happy investing, stay inspired, and remember, it is all about money.